wonderful on stage at the Holiday Pop Spectacular. Backstage, there's a show to watch too. But you really have to know your part, and we rehearse, rehearse, rehearse. The sweatshirts and sneakers don't diminish the sound that's the signature of the Philadelphia Boys Choir. This season, the Boys Choir joins 300 performers on stage, led by conductor David Charles Abel. The orchestra is about 70 or 80. We have a 120 voice festival chorus, we have a 45 voice boys choir, the Philly Boys Choir, and a 70 voice gospel choir. And I can promise you, it is spectacular. The Red Blazered Boys Choir and the Philly Pops gave us rare access to learn how great performances are built. Yes, it takes rehearsal, and when you're 13, a bit of seasonal sacrifice. It's hard to do homework after a while. There's so much. We have at least one concert a day. Well, my first performance is nerve-wracking. Then I realized, well, I'm going to be doing this a lot, so I better buck up. It's just amazing. It's, uh, I definitely have the holiday spirit in me, and uh, I'm excited. For Maestro Abel, the holiday pops is a welcome home. He lived in Mount Airy between age 5 and 12, singing in a boys' choir, too. There's something very special about boys' voices. There's a purity to it, which can sing very high. It's sacred, Christmas, and with that pops feeling, pure Philly. The Holiday Pop Spectacular on stage through December the 21st. With an eye on the arts, Pat Shiraki, CBS3 Eyewitness News.